And Henry.
If you would like to remain seated, you're welcome to. If you'd like to stand, please do at this time. We gather in the name of God, blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the keeper of the covenant, the source of steadfast love, our rock and our Amen. 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 Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God. We confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have ignored voices that call for your justice. We have neglected actions that witness to your righteousness. We have spoken and acted in ways that disrupt your beloved community. We truly repent of things we have done and left undone. For the sake of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Restore our troubled spirits so that we may live in newness, Follow the way of the Spirit and the body of Christ. Amen. Rejoice and be glad. God hears the prayers of all who cry out and restores us to life through death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I declare to you the forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our hymn is 625. The words will be up on the screen. Come we that love the Lord. <laughs>
Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise. Let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 
this isn't the same thing. This is regulation. I'll be right that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you might prefer to do this. <laughs> <laughs> first reading is from the book of Daniel, chapter 7. In the first year of King Belshazzar of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and vision of his hands today and then. Then he wrote down the dream. I, Daniel, saw in my vision by night the four winds of heaven stirring up the great sea. And the four great peas came up out of the sea, different from one another. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was troubled within me, and the visions of my head terrified me. I approached one of the attendants to ask him the truth concerning all this. So he said that he would disclose to me the interpretation of the matter. As for these four great peas, four kings shall arise out of the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks. <laughs> Psalm is Psalm 149. How about if we do it a little differently? So how about that side? Maybe y'all read the stuff that's not old. And your side gets the whole. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hallelujah. Say to the Lord. Let us rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their Lord. Let us praise him in the name of the Lord. Let us praise him in the name of the Lord. For the Lord takes pleasure in the people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let the sing for joy in their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throne and the two in the sword in their hands. To remember the song of ages and abide in all the kings. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decree. This and everybody says, The second reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, starting with verse 11. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of Him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you and my friends. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly place far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet 
and made him the head of all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the sixth chapter. Lord Jesus. Lord. Jesus had been up on a mountain calling his disciples, then he came down to a level place. And this is what happened. Then Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For surely a reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that, listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. You should probably say this one with me. We know it well. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The word of the Lord. I invite you to come forward for the children's message or to be seated. Be the first one, Bobby. Yeah, I like how you walk. No. No. See, Grayson has a bunch of walking. Henry has a bunch of walking. How are walking? Scarlet has a bunch of walking. Oh. Did you want to start on that? So I'm curious that you guys all were a bit of a new Russian stuff and I'm looking to today over that. Henry, I love the way that you come into church because you come running in and excited to see your mom, right? No? Is it a little different outside? I feel awful. You do? Okay. And I want to go through the wash and see. I like one for you. Good? Okay. And then we've got a And there's something I lost. Something that I can't watch. You can be like a TV fan. You're not going to hear it. You're going to have so old that you're not going to hear it. Oh, you're not old. <laughs> And Henry got to eat candy on Halloween. And I didn't. You know what? Uh, in the Bible today, it talks about all the different kinds of ways that we come together. So some of us walk. Some of us walk quickly. Some of us run. Some of us walk slowly. Some people, it's kind of hard to walk. You ever do that? You're seven years old and it's hard to walk. How about when you're excited? What do you do when you're excited? How do you look? Some rise and like feel like you're like you got like flashing like flash or something. That is a flash, it's an awesome. Okay. I like one of you to show me what it looks like when you're excited. Way to go. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like and how is going on here? Beautiful. Okay. 
as folks' memories on our hearts certainly to gather together today. And sometimes we need to go a little bit deeper. Sometimes we have to go places that are uncomfortable uh, because if we're going to be reading the Bible and following what Jesus said, that means taking all of the Bible into account and no, just pulling it. So we're going to start with the hard stuff. The hard stuff is that sometimes Jesus does things to shake things up and turn things around. As I said, many of us know the Beatitudes. Mary led a, a great Bible study this summer on the Beatitudes. And most of us know the version of Matthew, the Sermon on the Mount, because it's mostly happy stuff. Blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are the merciful, blessed are those who share, blessed are those who are reviled on account of my name. It's all blessings. blessings. And then we get to Luke's gospel, and Luke shakes it up. I mean, that night from the very beginning, even when Mary found out that she was going to give birth to God incarnate, she knew that he was going to change things around. He even said that in the Magnificat that we sing as part of old receiving prayer. He's going to take the lowly and raise them up. He's going to take the body and bring them lower. And darn it, Luke says it again. He says it again right here in our gospel today. And I would say, right after he called the disciples, he was on a mountaintop moment. It was wonderful. The eagles were winning, the union was winning, the Phillies were winning, the royals, pardon me, I was forgetting the royals the other week. It was a mountaintop moment. It was wonderful. Everybody was feeling great. And then what did he do? He went down. I mean, he came back from vacation. Some of you are just coming back from vacation. He came down a mountain. And then he stood on a level place. And I kind of skim over it sometimes, but it says here he looked up at his disciples. The Son of God looked up at his disciples. And then he taught them. And they listened. And he had some hard things to say. He said, Woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. So, in a Bible study on Wednesday, I had a fabulous point, and they said, Why does it always seem like, like you hate rich people? people? What is the problem with money? Well, that's what Jesus gives an opportunity in his teachings, he gives us an opportunity to hold up a mirror and ask you a question. To kind of reflect on this and say, Is there a problem with money? Is there really a problem? Uh, if people are rich. I don't know. What do you think? Are there ways that riches can get in the way of a relationship with God and God's people and our neighbors? I mean, he waited. Yeah, just a couple weeks ago, we had a lesson of the rich man and Lazarus, right? The rich man was having such a good time, a lot of luxury and comfort. He was laying on his couch. I do that too. I love it. He was eating wonderful meals with lots of friends coming over. Nothing bad there. That's great. He was ignoring, though, the person at his gate. He did not have enough to eat. His body was in need of healing. He desperately needed some care, not just from the dogs that were looking at him. Sometimes the comfort and the wealth get in the way of the relationship. It keeps going. Jesus said, woe to you that are full now, for you will be hungry. I've been eating pretty well with all that uh, Halloween candy on the ring. <laughs> so we didn't have as many trick-or-treaters, darn it. <laughs> and you know, the candy is still disappearing at an astonishing clip. There's only three of us eating it. Thanksgiving's coming up. Some people are already starting to make plans, whether they're going out or whether they're uh, comparing things at your home or with somebody else, all we think about right now is food. We have homemade ice cream happening in our kitchen right now. We have the smell of chili from the from the soup that they made for Tuesday. All those good things. And then I have to reflect on that. Because Jesus gives us these passages that make us read and think. Am I sharing? Am I keeping it all for myself? 
Am I ignoring the needs of others? Am I taking more than my fair share? Am I being generous with what God's entrusted to me? Those are important questions to ask. It's not that we need to starve ourselves, but sharing, doing us others as we'd have them do us up is part of Jesus' message. Both of you are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Oh, that stinks. I'd love to be laughing. You do that sometimes. Some of you have smiles on your face almost all the time, and it's such a gift to be able to see it. Sometimes you can even tell it under a mask. And I just drink one a little bit. So again, the question came up in Bible study. Is it a problem to laugh? No. Laughing is fine. And joy is fine. But Jesus points out that life is not all mountaintop moments. That there are hard times, low times, challenging times. Mm-hmm. And the wonderful thing about the uncomfortable passages is that God is with us in all those moments. There is still a relationship between God and the rich person. There is still a relationship between God and those that are full. There is still a relationship between God and those who are laughing. There is still a relationship also between uh, God and those who are crying. There's still a relationship between God and those who are hungry. There's still a relationship between God and those who are poor. And in Luke's gospel, what he does is Jesus comes down to the plain, makes a level playing field, and says, if you have a lot, make sure that you're sharing it. And if you don't have enough, make sure that some of God's people are going to be helping out, leveling it up. And so if it makes us uncomfortable, maybe we're the folks that need to be considering sharing a little differently. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought um, down at the the stadium, Citizens Bank, uh, this week, there was an amazing church thing that happened. So I was watching one of the games, staying up way too late. How many of you saw the moment uh, recognizing those who died of cancer? A couple people were also up late. I thought, wow, that was like a congregation of church. People holding up names of people, memorializing them, taking a sacred moment almost in time, and giving money for research. What a beautiful thing to do together. That same group is also being encouraged to give money to help uh, the folks that have been through Hurricane Ian. It was also a group that was encouraged to give money for veterans that are homeless and need some help with mental health. You know, church is not just happening inside these walls or inside these virtual connections. Church is happening in a lot of ways and a lot of places. Not just on the hill in the church in Zion, but on all kinds of other places. Thinking me that God is still busy. God is still working. On this All Saints Sunday, we recognize that there are folks that have given our whole lives in service to God and others. They've taught us, they've given us memories, they've laughed with us, they've eaten with us, they've arrived with us, they've loved us, they've died with us. Sometimes they've annoyed us. And sometimes they annoy them. But always we have a relationship. Reflecting the relationship with God that is upon us. And so even now, but you remember those that have died. We remember the parts of our lives that still need some fixing and some adjusting. We hold on to the strong truth that the Saint Paul had in our second one, recognizing that when we are living, we set our hope on Christ and we live to the praise of His glory. And when we get to the end of our lives, the grace of Jesus Christ, we can see with the eyes of our heart enlightened and know the hope to which He has fallen. The riches of his glorious inheritance among all the saints. That's the true riches. To be able to be gathered together by the grace of Jesus Christ. So if you're having a high time, enjoy it. Maybe even share some of that. Give a hand out and help folks who are having a struggling time. And if you're in a time of struggling or a time of weeping, maybe it's okay to reach out, both to God and to God's people, and kind of level that playing field. Encourage one another, live one another up through this life until we get to the next one. Let us pray. 
Lord God, help us to sing a new song to you. To praise you at all times on the mountaintop and down in the valley and in between. Please help us to love all of your children. To share together, to grow together, to encourage one another. Even to sing and to dance, to run and to slide. Lord, take pleasure with us and help us to share that joy and pleasure with others as we share your love in Jesus' name. Amen.
comfortable, please join me using the words of the Nicene Creed as we confess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. He was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Amen. United with saints across all times and places we share, we pray for our shared world. Holy One, your church rests on the faithful who came before us. Give bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders the will to carry the church forward and discern your will for the future. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Holy One, the earth is yours and all that dwells within it. Care for places ravaged by natural disasters, quell raging fires, and halt destruction caused by flooding. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Holy One, you raise up leaders to guide your people. Kindle in each a passion to care for others, a desire to seek the common good, and the courage to love our enemies. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Holy One, you bless those who are poor, hungry, and reviled for your sake. Provide food, housing, and security to all who are vulnerable or in crisis. May those who have enough share generously. Please help us be present and supportive of all in need of healing, including those we name before you silently in our hearts and out loud. We pray for Jay, who's back after his procedure, for Darlene, who's still in the hospital, for Paul, and Ruth, who was recently released from the hospital, for John, who was also recently released, for Donald, for Lorraine, for Judy and Mary, for Pam and Ruth, for Joyce and Rich, and for beloved guard who's still waiting on some tests. Lord God, we pray for those with chronic conditions, including Mr. Terry and Joan, Nancy, Chuck and Carol, for Bonnie and Nancy, Leslie and Rachel, for Margaret and Floyd, Richard and George, Greg, Pray that his appointment goes well this week. Please be with Marty and Faye, Linda, Joe, Alice, June, and Debbie. Please be with Bambi, Mark, Linda, Nina, Rick, Angie, and Debbie, and AJ. Please be with Max and Betty, Jake and Zoe, Amy, Gina, Ron, Barbara, Silka, Hong as she continues the experimental treatments. Please be with Phil and Janice, Pauline and Mike, Norman, Kathleen, Mike S., and Inga as she gets her radiation treatments. Lord God, please be with those on hospice and comfort care, including Shirley, Earl, Nancy, beloved dog, Lassie. Lord, please be with Dar and the 628 million people who have been and are afflicted with COVID. Please be with others whose needs are known to you, with Carol, Carol and Zini, Tammy and Dan, Paul, Adam, Carl, Linda, Bill and Laura, Mike, Shirley and Richard, with Rachel, with all those struggling through violence, fire and floods. Lord God, we thank you for the graduation of Mark from basic training, for his service and the service of Lily and all those involved in military and civilian support actions. Please be with all those involved in recovery efforts, not only for the recent storms, but those that continue to plague people around the world. And Holy One, even as you catch our breath, we remember in Thanksgiving those who have died, including those we name out loud here. 
Leroy, Pearl, Violet, Bill, Victoria, John, Mikhail, Elizabeth, Betty, Richard, Ronald, Alice, Tucker, Betty, Evelyn, J.D. Lee, Bob, Susan, Kelly, Solange's daughter, Brenda, Linda, Marla, Erica, Gerda, Bob, Louise, Beverly, Stanley, John Jr., Doris, Rhonda, Dot, Todd, Nick, Donald, Chino, Jean, Brian, Dave, Haley, Mary Lou's friends, Bob, Ben, Rick, Donna's dad, Clark, Jim, Marianne, Daniel, David, Michael, Mr. and Mrs. Martin, Mr. and Mrs. Benable, William, Walter, Anna, Emily, William Sr., Daniel, Michelle, Kelly, Darlene, Lori, Jane, Paul, Jean, Keith, Clayton, Maureen, Nancy, George, Jen, Donald Jr. People who have been laid to rest this year or died previously, including Shiloh, David, Baby Boy Gaston, Baby LaVan, Olivia, Lanaya, Baby Girl Winfield, Pat, Richard, <laughs> Josiane, Xavier, Pearl, Irma, Marvin, Mackenzie Rose, George, Elizabeth, Harry, Newts, Kim, beloved vet pets, including Romeo, Casey, Rick, Iris, Jackson, and Aerosmith. Lord, for all who died, those named and unnamed, those famous and forgotten, those young and old, all of whom are welcomed around the throne of Almighty God. We ask also that you would comfort all who are grieving, those we name in our hearts and those named out loud, including Cora, Scott and Jeff, Danny, Rita and the girls, Lois, Grace, Kurt, Carl and Eric, Tom and Beverly, all their extended families. Lord, help us to cry our tears to remember our loved ones and to wipe away our tears, comforting us with the promise of everlasting life together in you. Hear us, O oh God. Yes. Holy One, hold us in community with one another. Nurture a spirit of abundant hospitality and intentional inclusion among us, welcoming the gifts of adults and children. Inspire creative visions for our life together. Lord God, thank you for joy in our family of faith, for people who are a blessing to others, for Mark and the prayers today, for the abundant harvest all around, for the visitors that have gathered with us to remember your beloved children. We thank you for anniversaries, for birthdays, including those of Katie, Judy, Megan, and Wendy. Lord, we thank you for the healings we recognize and for those we don't. 
And Lord God, we celebrate with those who've been baptized this year, including Eve. Accept these prayers, gracious God, those known only to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm just going to sing, this world is not my home. Thank you. Thank you all for singing choir and sharing blessings. 
and our blessing to others. Thanks for everyone who cooks, and people who knit, and people who pray, and people who call one another and sit together and laugh together and have together. Thank you, folks, who also contribute uh, financially, whether that's uh, online or in the plate. We pray for all those things. Let us pray together. Gracious God, in your great love, you richly provide for all our needs. Make these gifts a banquet of blessing and make us ready to share with all of these. We do this Christ to set the table for all. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you, lift up your heart. We live to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. By the witness of your saints, you show us the hope of our calling and strengthen us to run the race set before us, that we may delight in your mercy and rejoice with them in glory. And so with all the saints, with the choirs of angels, and all the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. When they had supped, he blessed it. He gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus gathered us into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray together as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the children of God. You'll be guided forward. Uh, if you need to stay in your seat, we'll bring communion to you. There is wine and grape juice, gluten bread, gluten free. And for folks that are not yet communing, uh, we also have a sweet treat of Jesus's promise. Taste and see that the Lord is good.
find a place where I can be joined. I have a great question. Is the body of Christ just broken for you? Mm -hmm. The blood of Christ is shed for you. Mm -hmm. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you and lift his face and the cold of the and give you his grace for you. If you're able to and would like to, I invite you to stand for the blessing. Together, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace now and forevermore. Amen. Please join me in prayer. Let us pray. God of abundance, with this bread of life and cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In a prayer for those who take communion beyond our walls and beyond this part of the community. Life-giving God, through this meal, you have bandaged our wounds and fed us with your mercy. Now send us forth to live for others, both friend and stranger, that all may come to know your love. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God, who gives life to all things and frees us from despair, bless you with truth and peace. May the Holy Trinity, one God, guide us always in faith, hope, and love. Amen. Amen. Sending him is 628.
We savor the presence of God in our hearts. I'm going to ask you to sit down for a moment. I mean, for interrupting with announcements, but there are lots of ways that, uh, that we share God's love with others. So thank you, and to the family, for the flowers today, and help us remember those that are dying on before us. Uh, thanks to the folks that purchased carnations. If you want to take uh, those that are dying in memory of others, please feel free to do so after worship. Uh, you'll see the other announcements coming up. Please do remember to vote. On Tuesday, that's an important thing for us all to do. Uh, as you know, there's a voting place here. And if you're hungry when you come, there are all kinds of goodies. The soup has become all kinds of other things. So if you like soup and other things, uh, and you vote here or you stop by here, um, please do uh, participate in that. And I have word from, uh, from Anna Winger directly that uh, Golden Seniors, you can be 60 and older, but if you're a little less, that's okay. Uh, no one's going to check your ID or anything. So if you are free uh, on Thursday at 1230, 1 o'clock, if you come at 1230, it'll be early. Okay. And if you haven't set your clock back, it'll be really early. But this is the place to be. So so please do participate in that. Uh, Book Club continues um, on Zoom on Monday at 730. Uh, Bible study on Wednesday and prayer group continue both in person and online. Uh, darts. Last I knew we were tied for last place. Tied for last. All right, it's tied for last. That's all right. Underdogs are popular these days, right? Uh, choir sings on Thursdays. You're always welcome to participate in that as well to come and practice before singing on Sunday morning. Uh, there is communion next week, and while we're planning about food and things, Thanksgiving is coming up. Thanksgiving Eve service is here. We're hosting here with Zion ER and Klein Choir, so please do participate and plan to be here uh, for that evening service. And hopefully you'll get to meet a uh, new pastor who's just starting next door. Pastor Von Starr is going to be preaching at that service. Uh, thank you very much to the folks that contributed to the crop walk all through the month of October. Thank you from the Food and Garden Ministry. Um, those gifts go a long way to helping folks eat. Trying to make sure. Uh, please do remember property cleanup. It's supposed to snow on the 19th. So come on out. We'll rake leaves in the snow. Uh, we talked about having ice cream. Maybe we'll have to just kind of warm up and share love together. And please know not this week, but the following week, I am away at the Bishop's Conference. We still have council at seven o'clock. I'll be Zooming to council, uh, but please note that I'll be in, in Allentown for that, for that event. Yeah, that's the... Uh, we need to fix that up a little bit. Council's not on the 21st. And uh, as we're zipping through November, uh, you can order poinsettias already uh, for Christmas. So if you'd like to do that, please see Susie or the information in the bulletin. Is there anything else that I missed? Thank you for gathering together. We do have a Bible study following worship. If you'd like to stay tonight, you're welcome to do so. And again, for those that are visiting, thank you so much for enriching our worship service as we celebrate with all the saints. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. Please stay a moment and uh, enjoy the course. Of <laughs>